All right, I'm on hole number 10 of the uh, 2020 Winter Major. I'm in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Let's go check out hole number 10. I got one hour and 16 minutes left, so I got to uh, not let any grass grow under my feet here when I finish the rest of this. All right, I'm going at this with the, I'm coming out into this area right here and coming at the green, and I'm using an Extra Mile, a Titan, and a Saturn. Let's get up at it. Turn that off. Extra mile, Titan, and a Saturn. And what are Titans? The King of Balls. That's right. This hole is sponsored by Titan. Extra mile, Saturn. Here we roll. All right. Get in here before the uh, tournament, before it ends. I shot a really good round. I mean, with this account, I shot a minus 14 on the front. That is smoking it out. And hole number three and hole number seven, especially hole number three, I had the, I shot the easiest, I had the easiest time on hole number three that I've had with any round and any time I've been on that hole. And I did it with an extra mile six and a big dog five or six i mean it was it was so easy it was like why is we having problems with this hole it was amazing okay four two it's 2.4 per ring so there's two four that leaves me one six seven eight one eight what is that that's uh three quarters so it's one and three quarter rings and I'm going to put a little bit of curl just to bring it back into the center of the fairway. Hitting it perfect. I'm just trying to get right out there in the center. Easy breezy. Four and a half topspin. It doesn't take any more than that. There is a little bit of room out there, but... With low level stuff, you want to give yourself that awesome shot. So stay out of the fairway or stay out of the rough. Stay in the fairway. What was I thinking? And I'm an optimist. I, I have a lot of faith in my numbers for my rough and my sand wedge. So I feel like if I'm in the rough or the sand, I can get on. But the problem with lower developed clubs is, is that they're short irons. When you get to tour seven and you pick up that Nirvana and that Spitfire. Now you're carrying long irons for your recovery clubs. And not only do I feel like I have confidence in those numbers, the deal is, is that uh, they hit a lot farther. So I'm going to do two per ring with a 10% wind adjustment. Two per ring with a 10% wind adjustment. Let's put a little teeny bit of backspin on it. Let's see if I can get that ball guide to eke out there. Put a little bit more backspin on it. Be 2.0 per ring with a 10% wind adjustment. So that's 3-3. Three, three. So there's two, there's three. We're a little over a ring and a half. Right to the right to it. Now I just need to hit perfect. Oh, I hit it great to the left. I should have let it go by one more time. So close. So close. It's right there out. I hit that perfect and it's going in the hole. Oh, I mean, that shot is dialed in. It's about two backspin. I'm gonna make a note on here. Two backspin, because that gets that that gets your little tail there, so that it goes to the cup, so you can see it's helping you out. And what the deal is is it's going up, kind of going uphill. So if you're in that right spot, the ball guide's actually kind of enhanced, and it is right at it. Hit that perfect, and you are in the hole. But what's funny is, is that with my upper developed clubs, I'm on that same hole. 
I'm in minimum club, just like I am right there, and I'm with my Grizzly, and I'm hitting my minimum number on my Grizzly with no wind adjustment, and I'm in the hole. But here with my Saturn, I'm hitting my max number at minimum club with a 10% wind adjustment, and I'm right on it. And I did, I got the eagle on the front, and so... That's the thing about the numbers is that it depends on which club you're using and where you're coming at it from. Are you up close or are you further back? If you've got a really good ball guide, you can get up close to it and you can guide that sucker to the hole. So it it's so your landing area is a little bit different. With my upper developed count, I'm I'm like on the green or on the fringe right there and I'm going at it. Here I'm off on the fairway and I'm running it up to it. So depending on which club you're using. It's especially true if you've got multiple accounts and you're playing and you've got a set of numbers that's working on one account and you're playing it in another account and you're using different stuff or you've got a different landing zone, those numbers could be different. So if you're using the same numbers, they may or may not work out the Casper hole. Now, Terry, my teammate, my clan mates got me hooked on these holes. This is the Casper hole. <laughs> It's all your fault, Terry. All right. That was hole number 10 of Sharuba Springs. Came there to get a birdie. We got a birdie. We gave ourselves a look at Eagle. That was the goal. All right. That was hole number 10 of the 2020 Winter Major in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.